Earlier this week during one of my live streams, a viewer asked me, how do I actually record my desktop when I'm creating these YouTube videos? And so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you five different ways that you can record your desktop so that you can make how-to videos, you can share your screen and increase your YouTube content. So watch this entire video to learn how to record your desktop so that you can make better YouTube videos. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, so as I mentioned, what we're gonna do today is we are going to look at five different ways that you can actually record your screen and make YouTube content. You can do this for any social media really, but this is really important if you're looking to get into the how-to space. Now, one of these methods is gonna be paid, the rest are gonna be free. A couple of these methods are going to be Mac only because that's primarily what I use, but you should be able to find one that works best for you and get to creating. So the first one that I wanna show you is something called ScreenFlow. Now ScreenFlow is what I use, that's what I'm using right now to share my screen. This is a paid tool that's for Macs only. Now the thing that I really like about ScreenFlow is that you could basically use this one piece of software to do everything. Now, up until about a few weeks ago, this is how I created my YouTube videos. I would share my screen, I'd use a camera, and then I would do all my editing and everything else right in ScreenFlow. So it actually saved me time. Now, recently I switched over to Premiere Pro, but that's neither here nor there. But I really like ScreenFlow because you can do everything. You can add text on screen, you can do motion graphics, really anything that you needed. Another benefit of ScreenFlow is you could actually go find B-roll or stock footage right from inside the platform. It is an additional cost, of course, but you could actually use this for everything. And that's why I really, really liked it. So I'm not gonna show you, I won't be able to show you, unfortunately, because I'm using the software to create the video, but it's really easy to get up and running. The second one that I recommend, now this one is completely free, is something called OBS Studio. Now, if we look at this, this is what OBS Studio looks, looks like. Now, there might be a little bit of a lag, unfortunately, simply because I'm using the screen recording software, but let me show you around real quick. First thing that you're going to wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to go over to this website called obsproject.com. Find whatever platform you're using, Windows, Mac, or Linux, you're going to download it to your computer. Once you unpack it, it's going to look something like this. Now, what's really cool is with OBS, you can do live streaming, which is what a lot of YouTubers do, but you can also do recordings as well. And to record your screen within OBS, it's really as easy as hitting this plus button. And right here, it says Windows Capture Screen. It would allow me to capture my screen. So if we do create a new one like this, you can see that I can actually change. I've got three monitors here that I use, so I could change this between monitors. Now, if you're using an older version of OBS, you can, we'll discard that, discard that. We can hit the plus sign. We can go down here to where it says depreciated and then go to display capture. Now, once again, Let's create a new like this, and then we can actually switch. Now, I'm sure you've seen YouTubers use this before, and this is actually something that is really popular simply because it's free, um, and it's very, very versatile. That creates kind of like a weird inception thing, but that's okay. Once you have your configuration set up, you can also hide it too if you want to get rid of it. Once you have your configuration set up, just hit start recording, and it's going to record. Now, the only thing that I don't like about OBS is that when you stop recording, you kind of have to hunt and find wherever you saved it to. For example, I hit stop recording. It's going to stop obviously, but now I got to go back into settings because I don't remember where it saved to. And then we've got to look through. Okay, so good. I actually changed this at one point to my desktop. If we go to my desktop like this, I'll just open it up in a different screen. And let's see, we'll double click on this. And as you can see, this is this is the recording of the recording. This looks really confusing, but um, as you can see recording, here, and it's going to record. I actually have it set up to record my audio as well. And to record the audio, it's basically the same. Uh, let's hit cancel. Um, you'd hit the plus sign, and then you're gonna go audio, input and output to make sure you configure it correctly. So this is really easy, really simple. A lot of people use this. And um, yeah, you could be completely done and satisfied with just using OBS. But another way to use this is, and again, this is gonna be Mac only. I am going to go to my my applications, and I'm gonna find QuickTime. Now this should work for any version of Mac. So we're gonna uh, open up QuickTime, I'm gonna hit cancel, and then I'm gonna go file, new screen recording. And then we can have a few options. We can record a portion of the screen, we can record the entire screen. 
Now you want to look through and if you want to do audio as well, you can actually do, um, I'm using the this audio right here, but you have it configured how you like. And then you are simply going to, I just took a screenshot there, but let's go here and then we can make sure that we have everything set up and we're going to save this to the desktop and we're going to hit capture. Uh, let's try that again. So we're going to new screen recording, uh, make sure that we've got our audio set up and then we're going to hit record and it should record our both audio and whatever it is on our desktop. We're just going to move this around so that you can see. Now it's only recording what's inside of this box. Okay. It's not going to record stuff outside the box, but that's okay. When we're done, we are simply going to hit this uh, stop button at the top right here and as you can see we have a dot mov file that if we click play our you're going to see audio and whatever it is on our desktop we're just going to you're going to around see, you're going to see in here exactly what we've done so that is way number three i believe another cool way and these two are actually going to be free they're going to be found inside of the chrome store the so what we're going to do is we're going to google Chrome Web Store or Chrome Extensions, and you're going to get to this page. Now, what we're looking for is we're looking for Loom. Loom, like this. And this is, again, is really popular. As you can see, Loom Screen Recording and Screen Capture, really popular among lots of people. And this, the benefit of using Loom is, is you can get this done quickly. Now, I already have this installed. So I'm just going to click on this like this. As you can see, I already have it installed. I need to go up to my my extensions and I'm going to just find it real quick. So what I'll need to do is I'm actually going to pin this so it appears up here and then I'm just going to click on this. And as you can see, it requests that you actually create an account, but th that's fine. Once you go through the necessary steps, it's going to ask to use your camera and your microphone, just click allow. And as you can see, we can record full screen. It actually detects which ones we're going to be using. Uh, we can blur if we want and we're just gonna click on start recording click start recording like this and we're going to confirm and share and again it sees that i have three different monitors and we're just going to click on share like this and it's going to give us a little little countdown timer which is really cool and now we are recording it's as simple as this you can actually see me in the bottom left hand corner i'm going to record for a little while and then i'll just click on stop it only gives you a five minute timer because you're on the free level but that's okay for right now this is, it's going to save this to our desktop and just like that, we've got another recording. So this is actually really cool, really simple to use. The cool thing with 2023 is there are a ton of options, a lot of free options, and a lot of things are really easy. Back in my day, as they would say, there weren't so many of these options out there and it would be kind of a challenge and kind of a pain to find something. The final thing we're going to use is we're going to go back over into the Chrome Web Store and we're actually going to look for something called Vimeo. Now Vimeo has a freemium. So there's a free level and a paid level, but you can actually record your desktop through here as well. So we're going to go Vimeo and you can see you can you can record and and all of that good stuff. So we're just going to click on this once again. And I, as you see, I already have it and we can just download it, go through the steps to download and and then once you have it downloaded you can go over to vimeo like this and it's going to request that you create an account now again they have a free level so if we look at pricing here they have a free plan if you scroll down they never want you to see the the free trial but they do have a free plan and it's going to ask that you sign in and then you can record you can see right here get started with our free plan all right so once you create a free account you can see it's very much like loom where you will have to allow access to your camera and your microphones, but we're gonna click allow. And basically it's the same. We can do a screen recording, we can capture both, which, which we wanna do. And we're just gonna click on start recording. And once again, it's going to ask us how to share a screen. But you can see a lot of the software is set up exactly the same. And this should hopefully make your life a little bit easier when it comes to creating content. Now it's very important once you have this set up to actually start getting to work. It's great to have all these tools and all these things to make our lives a little bit easier, but it means absolutely nothing if we don't actually get to work. So now that you know the five different ways that you can record your desktop, some for free, a couple paid, click the first link in the description for my free affiliate marketing planners. Those planners will help you plan and organize your affiliate marketing business so that you can make more money online. Click the first link in the description or go to alstingodbolt.com forward slash start to download your planners today. Watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.